Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of SAP Disclosure Management Starter Kit for IFRS. SAP Disclosure Management is the SAP solution for the last mile of finance. And SAP Disclosure Management Starter Kit for IFRS is designed to accelerate and secure the implementation of your disclosure management application. Make the most of the Starter Kit best practices and examples to shorten time spent delivering financial reports to investors. A significant part of the configuration meets requirements related to filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, also known as SEC. Creating annual and quarterly reports in HTML, ASCII, and extensible business reporting language format, also known as XBRL. This makes the starter kit particularly relevant for foreign and private issuers. SAP Disclosure Management enables you to gather into one place the data required for publication, the Microsoft Excel-based data repository. Let's see how the Starter Kit's data repository has been organized in order to pull the reporting data out of the consolidation system and to prepare it for the tables and the texts included in the different chapters of the financial reports. Select the data repository for one of the sample reporting periods. It includes two templates designed to extract data from an SAP Business Planning and Consolidation System or an SAP Financial Consolidation System respectively. Either template can be easily adapted if you use another reporting system. The first worksheet groups the common settings used to extract and prepare source reporting data. For instance, the identifiers of the relevant data slice and the scale to be applied between reporting data and filing data. The table of contents of the second worksheet provides you with a summary of possible data inconsistencies per financial statement and disclosure table. Subsequent worksheets contain generic versions of the five primary financial statements required by IAS1 and IAS7. You will also find interesting disclosure examples like the reconciliation of changes in property, plant, and equipment and the list of subsidiaries and associates. SAP Disclosure Management range areas have been leveraged to make the most of dynamic data formatting and identification features for tables and text. Here, you can see the rounding performed in the starter kit. All rounded values are highlighted in blue. The data is dynamically refreshed either from the consolidation database or from Microsoft Excel-based reports. Once the update is completed, you can check in this new workbook version into the data repository. Now, let's go to the design of the annual report. SAP Disclosure Management enables you to divide each report into different chapters and to monitor the overall and detailed progress of the report production by the publication team. The starter kit sample reports illustrate how table data and floating text data are dynamically updated from the data repository and external data sources. Let's edit the balance sheet chapter. The Assets table and the Equity and Liabilities table are composed of data that is dynamically loaded from the data repository. You can update the data from the Add-in menu in the ribbon. The global data update for all chapters can also be triggered from the web console. In addition to content, SAP Disclosure Management allows you to automatically manage table formats. Click the Format button. Table rows are associated with one of the various styles predefined by table in the starter kit. For instance, the leaf level items or one of the subtotal levels. Check out all the table format templates predefined in the starter kit to help create and format complex financial tables in your reports. The styles of text, table items, and titles 
have been streamlined using Microsoft Office features so that you can easily update the templates according to your corporate policy. The starter kit also includes sample validation dashboards, which illustrate how you can get a summary of the financial data consistency throughout the reports. Now we're going to generate the final version of the annual report. SAP Disclosure Management merges all the chapters. And here is the sample annual report generated with the starter kit for IFRS, including the statement of financial position updated earlier. SAP Disclosure Management is a powerful solution to help you monitor the report creation process by the publication team. You can get the most out of the application workflow capabilities to control access to chapters for writers and managers depending on the document state. For this purpose, you can use one of the default workflows delivered with the starter kit. You can also enhance these workflows by inserting additional steps and create additional workflows as needed. In terms of regulatory reporting, SAP Disclosure Management Starter Kit for IFRS includes a 20F form template. The structure of this report abides by the US SEC requirements. You can start importing the actual content of your 20F chapters into this structure. As an example, balance sheet data has been dynamically linked to the data repository with a different layout from the one in the ANA report. Once the final 20F form is created, you can convert the document to EDGAR compliant HTML using the SAP Disclosure Management EDGARization feature from the add-in ribbon for Microsoft Word. Regarding XBRL, SAP Disclosure Management Starter Kit for IFRS includes tagging files that you can reuse and enhance in order to prepare the instance document of the 20F form as per the upcoming US SEC mandate. And here are the links to all Microsoft Word notes that are written in the annual financial report and that we're going to tag for preparing the US SEC filing. The starter kit illustrates how SAP Disclosure Management enables you to comply with the four levels of tagging. Open one of the tagging templates and run Report Builder, which is the XBRL tagging component. You will see how individual reporting amounts have been tagged against the standard and extended concepts of the starter kit IFRS 2012-based taxonomy. In the financial statements for level one tagging, and in the examples of notes for level 4 tagging, that is, detailed tagging. The starter kit tagging templates have been designed to streamline and control the tagging of amounts. You can reverse the amount sign, where appropriate, to take into account the debit or credit balance information of each concept. For example, for expense accounts or treasure shares. You can also check that totals are consistent with breakdowns in real time and anticipate on possible roll-up errors raised by the XBRL validation engine against the taxonomy calculation rules. In addition, the SAP Disclosure Management XBRL validation engine allows you to automatically check your tagging prior to submission against most of the rules explained in Chapter 6 of the US SEC EDGAR Filer Manual, Volume Number 2. Level 2 and 3 tagging is performed by clicking on the links to the chapters that make up the annual report and that include the significant accounting policies and the note tables respectively. This is also the way you will tag text blocks as per level 1 block tagging requirements related to notes. This is the environment to tag text blocks and tables in Microsoft Word documents. In order to tag the note, 
we select the text block and then associate both a taxonomy concept and a context for the period. Once you have tagged the numerical and narrative data of the report, you can generate the instance document for the U.S. SEC. With the valid 20F form in hand, both in HTML and XBRL format, you can submit your filing to the EDGAR portal. While SAP Disclosure Management Starter Kit for IFRS is full of best practices and examples, it was kept simple and generic to help you easily understand the kit and start your application from it. You can view online a more comprehensive example of what you can achieve with SAP Disclosure Management. Check out SAP Investors Relations website. SAP. Run like never before.